So there's been quite a few questions about how to complete the crosstab query in the tutorial 5 case problem 1. So I'm going to walk you through the steps that include not only creating the actual crosstab query but also including the IIF function to change the heading types. So to begin I have my database open here which came from the data file and you can see that there are certain things already created for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to begin to create the crosstab query. So I go to the query wizard and then choose crosstab query. And from here I just follow the instructions that are given by the textbook. So it tells me to create the query based on the table contract tab table. So I'm going to do, click on that and choose next. Then it says to use the lesson type field as the row heading. So I'm in row heading, so I'm going to choose lesson type. Add that to my selected fields. Choose next. And then I'm going to use lesson length for my column heading. And choose next. And then it asks me to include the count of the contract ID field as the values to be summarized. So I have contract ID here, I have count as my function, and then it also says to include the row sum. So I make sure that this box where it says yes, include row sums, is in fact checked, and click next. And then here I'm going to rename it, again, by the instructions given in the book. So query lesson type cross tab, and finish. So now I have a, my query, it's here, and you can see that it shows my lesson types down the left hand side here, and then across the top it shows me the total of all of the lessons, and then the 30 minute lessons and the 60 minute lessons. Now we want to change this where it says 30 and 60 to actually say number of 30 minute lessons and number of 60 minute lessons. We're also going to change this one right here where it currently is saying total of contract ID, we're going to change that to say total number of lessons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my home tab and then in my views I'm going to switch from data sheet view to design view. And then springs up here so you guys can see. So to begin the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the total of contract ID to write total number of lessons. And in this case I can just change the wording that's here. So total number of lessons. Now this is where we get into the little bit tricky part. In the lesson length I need to actually put in an IIF function so that I get the number of 30 minute lessons and number of 60 minute lessons to actually display in my table, in my query. So I'm going to refer back to the IIF function that I um, article that I posted in the additional resources for you. And if you read through this article, it explains to you that the IIF function, what it actually does is it looks at um, an expression or a value that you give it at the beginning and then determines whether or not the condition is true or false. So for in this instance, what we're going to be looking at is to see if the lesson length equals 30 minutes. If it does, we're going to return one value, which is going to be total, or excuse me, number of 30 minute lessons. If it doesn't equal 30, we're going to return a different value, which is going to be number of 60 minute lessons. Now in this case it works because we only have two values to compare. So if you go down to the example section of the article right here, you see an example where they're doing something very similar to this. In the example, they're looking at if the country region is Italy, then the language spoken is Italian. So again, if it's Italy, which it equates to true, then it would return the value Italian. If it equates to false, then it would return the value some other language. So in our expression, we're going to do something very similar to this, except we're going to make it say um, less than length. If less than length equals 30, then return number of 30 minute lessons. If it doesn't equal 30, then return number of 60 minute lessons. So what I'm going to do is actually copy this, just so I don't have to retype the whole thing, and so that I understand the syntax that I need. Now I'm going to go back over to my access table and I'm going to open the zoom window, 
and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just paste this in here so I can see it but then I'm going to go back to my original where I have my lesson length and I'm going to start putting in my function. Now you'll notice I don't need the equal sign here so I can just put in IIF and then my open parenthesis and then lesson length again is my condition and I want to test to make sure that that's equal to 30. Now if it is remember I'm going to return lesson or excuse me number of lessons number of 30 minute lessons. I'm putting that in quotation marks because that's a literal value that I wanted to return and then I put in the comma so that denotes that's the end of my true section and now I enter the value for my false section which is going to be number of 60 minute lessons and then close my parentheses and then of course I can delete all the rest of this function. Remember I just put it there so I could make sure that my syntax was correct. And then I press OK and then you'll see now that it shows in here my full expression if I make this long is now in the field box. And if I run this query you'll see that in fact I have my values here. Of course I can't type. <laughs> So I'm going to go back and fix where it says uh, Nuber and change that to number. So again, I'm going to go back to my design view and just change this in here, number, and run it again. So now I have my number of 30-minute lessons, and you'll see that they're in correct order now that they're spelled correct as well. So hopefully that helps you get through the cross tab core. If you have any questions, please post in the help board or send me an email.